Jesus came as the perfect lamb that was going to be slain for the sins of mankind. He fulfilled the Old Testament law and he did everything that was necessary to be able to present to us salvation. The gift of salvation that God has for us is something that we can't earn ourselves. We can't work enough. We can't ask enough. We just accept what Jesus Christ gives us and say, thank you. Hi, I'm Craig Critchley, pastor of Calvary Apostolic Tabernacle with today's devotional. And God wants you to experience salvation for yourself. And so you accept what the Lord has given. You simply turn from your sins and you ask him to forgive you. That's called repentance. And some people call that accepting Jesus Christ as your personal savior. That's part of it. You've got to believe that he is. He's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And then you turn from your sins and God forgives you. There's rejoicing in heaven over one individual that repents. And then you allow somebody else to baptize you in Jesus' name for the remission of sins. And those sins are gone. And then you allow God to fill you with his spirit. We don't work for it. We just simply obey his word and we receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, the gift of God's spirit. It's for you today. And God wants you to enjoy that gift. So just ask him to come into your heart. Ask him to cleanse you. Tell him that you've done things wrong and you're sorry for those things and turn from those things and stop doing them. Let God help you to become a new person. Because when God fills you with his spirit, you become a new creature. The Bible says it's a born again experience. And that born again experience is something that everybody should, should have in their lives. Because God doesn't want you to live according to the old man, the old ways. And God doesn't want you to feel so much pressure that you have to earn everything. Because you can't earn salvation. You just receive it. You're thankful for it. And then you live a life of gratitude afterwards. Too many people after they come to Christ think that they've still got to earn something. And so I'm doing this so I can get to heaven. No, you're not. You're doing it because of what Jesus has already done for you. And you're just grateful. And so the Lord says, you need to act this way and walk this way. This is how I want you to do. I don't want you to be like the world. You said, yes, God, I'm going to live that way because I'm thankful for what you've already done for me. Thank you for giving me salvation. Thank you for being my savior. And thank you for helping me. And God doesn't just make us go on our own. He goes with us. His spirit helps us. He gives us strength to do what's right. So you don't earn salvation. You just accept it. And then you walk on in a life of gratitude. Paul says it like this in Galatians chapter 2. The church of Galatia, they started in the spirit, but yet they, then they got mixed up and they started to think, hey, I got to earn this. I got to do this so that I'm, well, I'll stay saved. And Paul said, no, you don't. He said, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by faith of Jesus Christ, even as we have believed in Jesus, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ. And not by the works of the law, for by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. You can't do enough right things to be justified in Christ. You can only present yourself to him humbly and let God justify you. He wants to do that. He wants you to enjoy salvation. And then he wants you to enjoy the life of gratitude you live with him afterwards. You don't go back to the old stuff. You walk with him and you learn a new way of life. And he gives you the strength to do that each and every day. And I know he will because he's done it for me and he's done it for many other people. If you have any questions about this, we'd love to be able to help you with it because God wants everybody to experience salvation for themselves. He wants you to be filled with his spirit. He wants you to have that born again experience they talked about, Jesus talked about in Nicodemus in John chapter 3. So leave a comment below. Send us a message. We'd be glad to be able to help you in any way to understand what the Lord wants for you and the great things that God's prepared for us all. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. 
We'll see you on the next devotional.